and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to make a customized Bible highlighting system. If you are interested in making this, continue watching. But if you just want to copy mine, I'll pop it up on the screen here. Just take a screenshot and feel free to use as you please. I will also include a PDF version so that if you wanted to print it out and put it in your Bible, go ahead and do that. The supplies we're using in this video are a pair of scissors, a blank sheet of paper, highlighters, a pen to write with, tape, and an extra sheet of paper. So what you'll need is a blank sheet of paper, and you will be cutting that up into small pieces. Now on each little piece of paper, you're going to write out different topics that you want to highlight while you're reading your Bible. So I'm popping up some various words here. Feel free to use any of these, all of these, and if I miss anything that you want, feel free to put that on your little sheets of tape. So a typical set of highlighters will have about five colors. So for the sake of this video, I'm using six colors. Now you're gonna wanna create little swatches of your highlighters. I have struggled with reading the Bible since I was a kid and it was only up till about four years ago that I really fell in love with reading the Bible and it wasn't as intimidating. So if you have any questions, please ask. I love to teach others about how to read the Bible. So if I can shed light on how to read God's word for you, it would be my honor. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to categorize the topics that most seem like they belong together. So for instance, uh, enemy, Satan, uh, commands and warnings. I feel like that belongs together. Uh, miracles, prophecies, and promises I feel like belong together. So you're going to put the words into categories that most make sense to you. And once you do that, then you're going to apply your colors. This is what makes it completely customizable because whatever words most resonate with a certain color for you, it might be different for me. So you're going to do this for yourself, for your colors, so that you can easily remember. So once you've decided which colors you want with your categories, you're just gonna stick it down on a half sheet of paper. That's what I did and that's what I have in my larger Bible, but I will print out a smaller version of this to put in my small Bible. So I hope that was as easy as I thought it was, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you have any other curiosities about how I study my Bible, or how my daily Bible reading is, feel free to ask. So have a great day and have fun customizing your own Bible highlighting system. Bye.